this month. So what I wanted to do is basically take you through the fundamentals of how to engage your core to begin with and then just work through just a really simple program to get you started for the week. If you practice this, believe me, your abs will hurt. You will start to notice the little fundamental uh, changes within your body and the engagement of all of the muscles in your body. So if we lie down, what we're going to do first of all is do is concentrate on drawing our back nice and flat into the ground and we're going to take our tailbone toward the wall. So what that means, so let me just lift up my top for a moment. So what's happening is I've got an arch under my back here and this is what a lot of people will feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my tailbone down and I'm going to flatten out my back. And then my back is flattened out and I've got a slight little bit of space underneath the back body. So if you were to think about it, moving through pelvic tilts, what happens is we arch, so we find a nice opening through the chest and an opening into the torso, down through the frame of your sole ass, and then we press the spine to the ground, tuck the tailbone down and slightly lift with the hips don't come off the ground. So it's an arch, and then as we press back down, we're hugging that belly down through the spine and we're rotating back. Nice big arch. So this is Pilates and it's the pelvic tilt and then arch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and keep this tilt. Make sure you try and keep the length of your spine and neck engaged. So drawing your chin slightly towards your chest to lengthen out the spine. Then just take your hands behind your head. And we're going to keep the back as flat as we can into the ground. Just going to adjust a little bit here. And then as we keep that back nice and flat, pressing nice and heavily down without lifting the bottom off the ground, but squeezing into your glutes. Nice big inhale while we're down. As we exhale, keep your arms nice and wide and lift up. Take an inhale back down. Back, back is staying connected to the ground. Exhale up. Inhale back down. Exhale up. Just looking at the knees. Inhale back down. Exhale back up. Inhale back down. Exhale back up. So you're really powering into this belly, making sure that you've got that belly engaged. Inhale down. Exhale back up. Now what tends to happen here is people go inhale down and they'll arch their back. And then what they do is they exhale up with the arch in their back. Now what you don't want to do is do that because you're not engaging the belly. We want to be pressing, tucking and lifting from the center of the belly. Trying to keep that belly really engaged, that back press. And you're not pulling up with the hands, you're really lifting up from the power of your belly. So you shouldn't even have to take your hands behind your head altogether. Now you want to stay with the Pilates breath because it really integrates as you lift. So it really helps you to emphasize that lift. If you're breathing, if you're breathing incorrectly, what will happen is if you try and inhale up, everything's happening the wrong way because when you inhale, your belly expands. So what we, what we want to try and do is exhale, press the back down, hug the belly through the spine and lift up. Then we inhale back down to try and keep the back pressed down to the earth. So these are the fundamentals and these are just and you just want to also make sure you keep your knees in line with your hips. Don't take your legs too far out. Bring them in nice and lined. Open them up and just practice this a couple of times. What we do during Pilates here is we tell people to take their hands into a diamond and place their diamond over the hips and um, or over the pelvis. And what we do is we say inhale arch. 
touch as a marble, if you think about a marble being in between the fingers, a marble is only down toward the pointer fingers. And then as we exhale and the pelvic bone rolls the other way, the back flattens down, kisses the earth, tailbone down, drawing down toward the other, toward this side of the room, the marble is rolling toward the thumbs. Inhale, arch. Exhale, press. And then again, as you can see, hopefully you can see, I lift my arms up. Inhale, arch, marble rolling down toward the fingers. Exhale, press, marble rolling toward the thumbs. Inhale, arch. Exhale, press. So what I'd like you to do is concentrate on that for three days. Practice that. See if you can do maybe 20 sit-ups to begin with, keeping your back flat to the earth. If you can do 20, start with 5, start with 10, whatever you can do. Try and get to maybe 50 in three days. <laughs> if you are in an act in an inactive person, then you'll want to try and get to maybe 30 in three days. And then we're going to, then you'll have that fundamental, you'll have the foundation, and then we can really take you through a lot of fun exercises where you're going to really power up the belly. Powering up the belly gives you amazing, amazing results, not only physically, but mentally uh, also, because it's the center of our being. So, um, you know, if you think about it, it's the solar plexus, it's all of our internal organs. Um, so it's a really important part of our body to have functioning. So it's our will and power. And I often explain this, if you're hanging about, your belly is not active and you're kind of just slumping around, your shoulders are down, you don't have good posture, you've constantly got back aches, or maybe your hips are really tight, your legs are sore, this is all because you have absolutely no power in your belly. You get your power back in your belly, you get your power back in your life. Seriously, it's your will and power to move and go. If you're feeling stuck right now, keep with me for this like 28 days or 29 days, whatever it is in February. Actually, it might be 30 days in February. Um, no, 29. But yeah, stay with me and um, you're going to have a blast. You're going to feel really strong at the end of this month and then you can power through for the next uh, year with me because I'm going to be with you for a year doing delivering all sorts of different things around mindfulness and um, physical transformation. It's going to be awesome. Namaste.